So for this problem, we have a diagram with a 100 pound force, and we want to find um, the moment that this force uh, that's going uh, along the lines OA exerts on the line uh, BC. And so the way that we're going to do this is we're going to first find the moment due to that force on this plane by crossing it with a vector that lies along that plane. And so after that, we're going to find the magnitude, or you can think of it as the fraction of that moment that is acting on line BC. And so we're going to start off by defining the magnitudes of uh, the lines of action uh, of force F and line BC respectively. And this is going to come in handy a little bit later when we define our vectors. So the magnitude is going to be the square root of, for line of action OA, it's going to be the square root of 6 feet in the x direction, 4 feet in the z direction, and 3 feet in the y direction. And that is going to be square root of 61. Similarly, for line BC, that is going to be square root of this. Uh, this line doesn't have a y component. It's only in the s, z direction, directions. And that is going to be c 6 squared plus 4 squared. Quantity squ uh, squared of that. That is going to be 50 to square root. Um, next, we're going to find, define our r vector. And so we, we took our r vector to be in the x uh, direction because um, just for simplicity. So our r vector is just going to be 6 in the i direction, 0 in the j direction, and 0 in the k direction. Okay and that's going to be in feet. Our force vector is going to be um, our magnitude, so 100 pounds times our direction vector. So our direction vector is going to be our line OA. So that is going to be 6 feet over 61 in the i direction. And the y direction is going to be 3 over 61. And in the, k in the z direction, it is going to be 4 feet over 61. That is going to be in pounds. Okay? So after that, we're going to find our um, direction vector in the line uh, BC. So our direction vector is going to be exactly like we did before for our force. It is going to be um, 6 feet in the x direction. But this time, the magnitude is 52, like we found here. And it is going to be 0 in the j direction. And in the, in the z direction, it is going to be negative 4, because it's going from 4 to 0. So negative 4 minus 4 over 52, okay? And so that is going to be again in feet. So now to find our moment, we're going to uh, do our formula R cross F. And if you do that, you're going to get, let's see, what are we going to get? Zero for x component, we're going to get negative 2400 uh, over 61 in the j direction. And lastly, in the, y in the z direction, we're going to get 1800 over 61 pound feet. Once we found the moment vector, we're going to uh, cross it with our u vector. So we're going to do u dot m. And 
there is basically finding the fraction between uh, the fraction of that moment that we just found that is acting on line BC. And so if we do that, we are uh, going to get over And that is also going to be around negative 127.8 pounds. Okay, and that's it.